Hi guys, today I just want to demonstrate the uh, dynamic range stretch feature of the AF100. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful um, little feature and basically it increases the amount of light which your sensor is taking in, increases the amount of colour and detail which your sensor is taking in at the cost of adding noise to the shot. Um, I really like the dynamic range stretch uh, feature because it looks absolutely beautiful, especially through uh, macro lenses. So I'm going to demonstrate using macro lenses now. Uh, the lens which I'm going to be shooting through is the SLR Magic Hyper Prime lens, which is the 50mm. And this one is uh, about 950 uh, quid at the moment. And um, I'm going to be using two Polaroid uh, macro lenses put together, the close-up plus two and the close-up plus four. I uh, really like the little macro lenses, uh, use them a lot when photographing nature, that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, on to the demonstration. Okay, currently we're at an f-stop of 16 and our dynamic range stretch is not on yet. Let's see how it looks. Okay, now we've got a dynamic range stretch of 1. As you can probably see, we've got a lot more detail in the pupil. So it's beginning to look quite good. Now we've gone up to a dynamic range stretch of 2. You can probably notice that the scene's a lot brighter. You can also probably notice that there's a little bit of noise. I uh, neglected to mention that all of this is being filmed at an ISO of 200. And finally we reach a dynamic range of 3. Uh, a lot more noise, the vision is a lot lighter for this. Um, but you can probably see how awesome the dynamic range stretch is on the AF100. Well, I hope that's been helpful to you. I find that the dynamic range stretch feature of the AF100 is very, very nice, even though it does add a little bit of noise to the image. Um, I find it's better to have a lot more detail than um, a little bit of noise uh, cluttering things up. And um, also, it will help you shoot at lower light levels, which kind of counteracts the whole uh, ISO factor of um, adding noise to the image. Although the AF100's um, ISO is exceptionally good, uh, so at a higher ISO you will not be capturing uh, as noisy images as you will with, say, the Lumix G5, which I use. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, take care and see you later.